May 1974. The Vietnam War was winding down. The time has come for me to speak out. Watergate was closing in on Nixon. Hank Aaron had just broken Babe Ruth's career home run record. And the prostitutes and madams of Wheeling's notorious brothels were nervous. 167 miles away in Cleveland, Ohio, Carla DeLerba was being arraigned on a federal indictment. The feds accused the Canton woman of bringing women across state lines to work in Wheeling brothels. If Carla cooperated with authorities, she could implicate one of the biggest madams along the Ohio River, Aggie Toomer. But if she were dead... Underworld figures started plotting to make sure Carla could never talk, and only one man could approve their plan to kill her. Wheeling's most powerful gangster, Paul No Legs Hankish. Within a week of her court appearance, Carla was murdered inside her Canton apartment. The Stark County coroner ruled her death a suicide without performing an autopsy. It was the official but deeply flawed explanation of her death. The truth about Carla's death wouldn't be revealed until 16 years later, during a trial that put Hankish in prison for the rest of his life. Although no one was ever charged with Carla's murder, the revelation called into question the integrity of Dr. Gus Shaheen, Stark County's coroner, for nearly two decades. Even with those implications, Carla's case faded from memory in Wheeling and Canton. It was publicized at the time of the trial, um, but, you know, if you ask the man on the street today, who was Carla DeLerba, or even five years after the trial, who was Carla DeLerba, uh, people wouldn't know who she was. Wheeling today is a lot different than it was in 1974, when it was a hot spot for vice. Well, I can best describe it as a cross between the uh, Las Vegas Strip and, uh, and uh, New Orleans. And no criminal has the power that Hankish wielded in those days. Paul Hankies was probably the number one organized crime figure in, in this, this area. Uh, had connections in Pittsburgh, had connections with the five families in, in New York, and pretty much up and down the East Coast as far as gambling operations are concerned and other types of uh, criminal activity. Hankish controlled life and death in the Wheeling underworld, but he didn't get his hands dirty. Ronnie Asher and Ronnie Bryce were the men who killed Carla and Canton. It was a job for Asher. It was personal for Bryce. So the two of them went up, and this time she was home, and uh, they went into her apartment, and Asher claimed to be a martial arts guy, and he delivered, for lack of a better term, a, a rabbit chop to the back of her neck. Someone also stabbed her three times with a knife. Only in 1990, when the feds put Hankish in prison for the rest of his life and Stark County authorities dug up Carla's body, was the truth about her so-called suicide known. But the price of the knowledge was letting one of her killers walk free. 